What's up everybody, welcome back to Gamers Be Like, I'm Bond and today we're going to be unboxing the Days Gone Collector's Edition along with the alternate Steelbook which um, was exclusive to Amazon here in the UK. Um, so this is obviously a PlayStation exclusive, it came out today. Um, the Collector's Edition I believe was sold out, it was exclusive to Game Here and it was sold out for a little while. I'm not sure if it came back with like, <clears throat> sorry, uh, cancelled pre-orders or you know, Flaps payments, all that kind of thing. So you might be able to snag one, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll crack into the alternate steelbook, which actually came in this pretty cool sleeve. It's a little bit unusual for the Amazon steelbooks. It usually just gives you the two things, and and that's it, just in a package. This actually came in this pretty nice outer sleeve. So obviously you've got on the front some cool artwork. The world comes for you. Nothing on the back really except the barcode, which I guess is what they scanned for the dispatch. <clears throat> and we've got just a standard edition of the game. That's nothing special, really. We'll get into that once we get into the collector's edition. Um, but here's the alternate steelbook. Um, as you can see, it says Days Gone on the front in this kind of matte on gloss. It doesn't show up that well, but on the spine, we do have the title of the game, which is a rarity now, apparently. Back we've got a horde, I suppose. And on the inside, it is pretty boring. Um, just says Days Gone, black, a little bit specs, I guess, like kind of um, dirt or something effect. So yeah, that is the alternate steelbook. Anyway, we'll put that over there for now. Let me tilt that down a bit so you guys can actually see stuff I'm putting now. Okay, but this is the main thing you're all here for. We have the Days Gone Collector's Edition. So we'll, well, let's check out the box first. Obviously on the front we've got him with his bike, which is what the statue will be. And it goes all the way around until the back, where it tells us what we get. So we get the full game, another steelbook case, premium statue, music CD, which is uh, a little bit different. Usually you get digital codes now. Collector's pins, mini art book, so on patch, four decals, and a PS Store voucher for bonus content. And then on the side again is just an extension of the front picture. So we will get into this somehow. Where's your little piece of sticky that needs breaking? There it is. If I had the knife the right way, that would also help. Okay, so, rip headphone users, that was a weird ass noise, so on the inside it is nothing but just a black boring box, I'll show you guys real quick, but nothing special on the inside really. I mean it's a pretty standard Playstation exclusive box at this point, they're all, uh, very much the same kind of shape, size, and style. I think Horizon was the same. God of War might have been the same. Uh, anyway, so here is the box. So on the front, you've got this wolf uh, dog. Not really sure what you call it, but there we go. Dog, I guess. Got like, uh, I don't know. Go with dog. We're calling it dog. On the top, we've got Days Gone Collector's Edition. On the back, it's the same deal again. On the bottom, nothing special really. And then on the sides, again, just more of the box effect. So I'll open it up. I assume that was supposed to be on this. So, I have a thing on here, it was on top of the game, it was kind of half across both, I assume it doesn't mean don't play the game, but it says do not play it until story is complete, um, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that is the art book, so um, I'm going to show you guys a few pages now, I don't know what if any of them are spoilers or what, um, so if you want to stay completely clean, here is your spoiler warning, 
skip ahead a little bit um, and we'll come back later. So here's a picture of the bike. I mean, it's a pretty standard uh, kind of art book, really. Oh, day's gone. Yeah, I don't think I actually hit any spoilers in there. But there we go. I guess maybe they're covering their bases. There might be a page on there that tells you what happens. Everybody dies. Okay. Um, how does this work? Is this? Ah, oh, okay, this is attached. Somehow, no. What is going on with this? Okay, hang on. So this piece wants to cut around here. down um, come back to that in a minute I'll bring it back in a minute so in this top case this thing says pull I'm not really sure why but let's find out let's find out not really sure what the point of that was <laughs> no idea at all what the point of that was. Oh wait, there is some stuff in the back here. Is that what it's for? So we can get this stuff out of the back. Okay, let me just get all this out. This is starting to get way too convoluted. Back in the box. Right. So these are the Salon Pattern decals for the look of it. So here's the sew-on patch. See, so this says days gone because of the deep blanket or something. New decals, you've got this Ride the Broken Road Farewell Original sticker, which is the dog we saw on the box. And I spied it on the back of the steelbook when I was taken out too, so it's obviously significant. You've got the developer um, decal. Days gone logo and then not really sure what this is but it looks cool okay and then in here we have the pins I'm guessing once I figure out how to get into it so uh, boring bit of cardboard Ah, yeah, the pins. So here are the pins. Some of these have two backs on. I guess so you can, like, align them properly. So again, we've got this dog with the chain. We've got that symbol. It was also a decal. Ben Studio logo. The bike. Some raven or crow or something. Then an axe with days gone. And then... These f oh, they all have two. Okay, so all these pins have two, so I guess they won't, like, twist while they're on you, which is, I guess that's pretty cool. Because usually all the pins I've ever seen, I mean, I don't really collect pins, but they always have one. Um, so you put it on and it ends up just, like, twisting. Um, and never stays the right way up, but with two, obviously, it will stay the right way up. So that is pretty actually pretty cool. Um, so we've got the statue left, we've done the art book, we've done the decals, we've done whatever. Um, we'll check out the steel book, which again, as you can see, there's the, uh, this logo is obviously significant. I'd never seen it before I'd opened this unboxing, uh, opened this collector's edition, to be fair. Um, I don't remember seeing it in, like, any of the marketing or anything for it. Oh, come on, Sony, you usually have these sweet-ass tabs for me to rip, but I can't get the end of this one. There we go. So, this is the steelbook. It's kind of a more matte one. Days gone written on the side. 
no P um the other one as you can see in the background there had the um PS4 branding on it this one doesn't so if you're uh, more into not having it or having it then obviously a steelbook variant for each so in here we have my Mona's digital content which I don't even, doesn't even say what it is um, so it's a little bit disappointing I can't tell you guys I can't remember what it is off the top of my head Oh wow, okay, so in the steelbook you actually get, um, okay, well hang on, that's the controls that you usually get in these games. Um, so you got the soundtrack CD and the game in the same case, that's actually pretty cool, I guess? I'm not really sure how I feel about that, I usually have my, I have my CDs over there with my computer and stuff, and then my games are over there. Um, but having all in one place is actually, it's actually pretty neat. I'm not sure... I like it and I don't. I don't. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, is there anything underneath the discs? Or is it just a plain? Yeah, the inside again is pretty boring. More boring than the last one actually. It's just plain, plain black. So that is the steel book. Um, plastic. Get rid of that. So. The main event, I'm sure what most of you are here to see in reality, is the statue, which, if you haven't seen it, it is pretty much what he is doing on the front of the box that you can just about see in the shot over here. Um, hopefully I'm not cut one. There's a lot of tape around this. sure what to make of this it's just kind of like all stuck and let's get that out of here it's taking up space so we have this protective um, thing over his handlebar so I guess they're a little bit yeah they're very snappable very very snappable if you wanted them to be so yeah you have uh, him leaning against his bike his face looks a little weird I think maybe not um, he's obviously just put a bullet in the zombie's head. And he's checking out his map. He's like, where do I go next? Um, and then on the bike, obviously, we have a decent amount of detail here, too. So he's down on his kickstand. So, yeah, as I said, like, you want to be careful where you put this, I guess. If you if you caught any of this, I think it would snap off pretty easily. Um, obviously, why the protective stuff was around the handlebars in particular. Yeah, that is the statue. I mean, it's not huge. Um, I mean, there's the steel book for a comparison. So if I tilt that up a bit, so you can actually see. So it's kind of wide, but not very tall. But it's it's a kind of a cool diorama. Um, tilt that down a little bit. Um, uh, so I don't remember exactly what the collector's edition digital content was and it didn't say on the box and it didn't say on the card which is a little bit disappointing um, in editing I'll, I'll try and throw something up so that on screen so that it tells you guys what was in it um, but but yeah so to recap in the collector's edition we got the digital content the statue this steelbook along with the game and the soundtrack CD which I just realized the soundtrack CD being in the case it didn't come with uh, usually they come with those um, cardboard sleeves that will tell you like the track list and stuff um, I don't see that anywhere so uh, yeah that's a little bit weird um, you've got these four decals again you had the this logo Days Gone logo Ben Studio logo and this very significant dog apparently 
the sew on patch for Days Gone. Um, the art book, which was apparently spoiler ridden. The back is obviously collector's edition. Uh, it's actually a really nice piece of art. I wonder if I could I'd have that as a desktop background, I think. Um, they got the pins, which had the double fixing on the back, which I think is really cool. And that was it for the collector's edition. And then obviously the um, there was this alternate steelbook that was exclusive to Amazon here in the UK, which I think I prefer this one. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the PS4 branding on the side, um, but I, I, I really like the red and black kind of combo here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one I'll use. I might use the red one. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you picked this game up, what you think of it. I know it's been getting kind of mixed reviews. Uh, I've seen some as high as like nines and stuff, and then I've seen obviously a couple a lot lower than that, like three or something. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be checking it out for sure. Um, let me know if you like these unboxings. I do try and get them up of the stuff I get. Um, and let me know what your favorite steelbook is. I mean, these aren't amazing, I don't think. But the red one in particular, I think, is decent enough. Um, and so give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more content, hit that bell if you want to know when it goes live, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy whatever you're playing.